Hey Cancer, this is Alex and I'm here to give you your weekly love reading or weekly tower reading. This is going to be a super short reading, I apologize, but let's see what the universe has for you. Ooh, I, just as I started to get excited, I saw that damn three of swords. Cheating? No, come on. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. We not doing that, Jesus. You got strength, but just trust, but you're hurt. Oh, there's somebody from your past coming back. Um, the Six of Cups is the return of love. Let's just call it love. Past love, past life, or this current life. But they hurt you already. They hurt you before. And you're not over that. You're still in your head about that. You're wondering if they're going to do it again. All right. Well, this reading was clear cut. You're trying to figure out, boy, cancer, are you in your head? That's that's an oxymoron within itself. Oh, the three of swords twice. So y'all both have hurt each other, but one of you got over it, but one of you didn't. I'll give y'all one guess which one of y'all didn't, cancer. Um, uh, But you still love this person, but to an extent, you don't trust them because they're either emotionally manipulative or manipulative in other areas. Um, you don't know if you could trust this person. You've been thinking about it long and hard, but angels are saying you're going about it the wrong way. It's almost like you're thinking about if they can hurt you again. And what you really should be thinking about is whether or not you've healed completely so that you cannot be hurt by this same person again. You have six of cups and a moon, yeah. You got, you still got love for them, but I feel like some of you guys are in denial, right? You're trying to hide your emotions for this person. Yeah, and you still want to be with them and you still want to marry them. Your friends love them. Your family loves them. Your, your auntie loves them. Um, You guys love being around each other and you're good for each other. Um, You got three of swords and then also the wheel of fortune. Um. Yeah, one of you guys got over the heartbreak, but one of you guys did it. And again, I feel like that's you, Cancer, who did not get over the heartbreak. And and again, I feel like it's because you don't trust them. You you don't know what you're going to do about this person. You still love them, but you don't know if you can trust them. And Cancer, by the way, the only way that you're going to get out from behind these, these nine swords, right? I'm not going to say to you, oh, well, you're just going to have to give them a shot and just hope that they don't know. Fuck that. Okay. What I'm saying to you is you have to heal. That's what it is. You got to heal. You got nine of wounds here. So it's almost like, how could you be anybody to them if you down on your knee? Right? So it's almost like um, you first have to get yourself back. Right? You got to get your sexy back. Cancel. Okay? In order for you to be in this with them or in anything with anybody. Right? So... And, and again, you're sitting here anxious, thinking about the past over and over, cursing them out in your mind, cursing yourself out because you you felt like boo-boo the fool. I should have known better. Right? You're inactive. You're in your head. And guys, remember, readings are, uh, energy is fluid. So I may be referring to you, but it could be your person. Right? Somebody's in their head just replaying this hurt over and over again. I mean, you got the wheel of fortune right here. The universe is trying to take it away from you. The universe is trying to heal you, but you're down on your knee and you're sitting up in bed, like sitting up in my room. A brandy song, right? Not only that, but look, you got Virgo here. If you ain't sitting up in your room or down on one knee, you all up in the dark, baby, cancer. You're not going to figure anything out by the current methods that you're using, right? Now, again, I'm not saying, hey, give this person another try. But what I'm saying is whatever it is that you're looking for or trying to figure out the way in which you're doing it, you ain't going to be successful. Okay. So um, the answer here. So what is the answer, Alex? What the hell is the answer? Um, angels are saying trust yourself. Trust yourself not to be manipulated by them. That's it. That's really it. Like, it's almost like expecting a person to just lie to you. I mean, first of all, for those of you guys who think they are truthful per people in this world, good luck with that. Okay. The signs you have here are Leo, Gemini, and Virgo. Virgo here. You, Cancer, as the moon. Sagittarius is there, right? 
And what do we not have here? What are my pentacles? You have no pentacles here. So that says to me, you're in your mind, your heart, and you're stagnant, right? Because the nine of wands and four of wands, that represents like uh, immobility. Like you're not moving, okay? And the wands represent direction and action. <sighs> it's time to give rather than take. I would say give to yourself, baby. Hold your vision. Yeah, don't budge, right? Boundaries are there for a reason. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, not, oh, angels just said, not in your nightmares, okay? As in, energy flows where your attention goes. So if you sitting up here thinking about the past, thinking about how they hurt you, that's exactly where, what you're gonna vibrate and what you're gonna attract at, that hurt, that pain. So you're just gonna bring more of it to you. So you will never give yourself an opportunity to heal, okay? <laughs> I can't, I love God so much. I love God so much. Bring love into this situation. All right, Cancer, short reading. I apologize. I was trying to get them all out this weekend. I was behind, but hopefully it helped. If it does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you, Cancer. Bye.